charge me more, I gotta charge more. Have you uh, raised the prices on the guitar strings yet? No, I haven't. Great. I'll take three packs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed, you're gonna be a fine businessman someday. Hey, Gary, there's only six strings on here. Where's, this, where's the other seventh uh, guitar string? That's because I'm already a fine businessman. <laughs> Mark, your uh, package came. Oh, great, great. It's here. What is it? It's my new $50 symbol. Why so much? It's a status symbol. Come on. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm sick. <laughs> Music shop. Oh, yes. Hello, Spencer. No, no, Spencer. I will definitely not sing the Jaws theme at the groundbreaking ceremony for a seafood restaurant in Duluth. <laughs> Goodbye. Praise, man. What is this? Ooh, that's a pan for making pizzas in. Gosh, I mean, I must have ordered out of the food catalog and not the music catalog. <laughs> you know, it is kind of important, though, to uh, uh, read labels properly and to follow directions carefully. Otherwise, you will spend a whole lot of time fixing your mistakes. You play piano, don't you? Yeah. Hit it. <laughs> Concentrate on whatever you do doing. Keep things straight to complete a big task. Set your mind on the problem at hand. To do things right now, you must understand. Ah, though you're smart and a straight A student, well, you can really start to mess things up. A little old problem can become even greater. So pay attention now or pay for it later. Well, it's hard enough to do things the right way. And always remember as you go along. Now, you can't do this if you're thinking about that. So make sure your thoughts stay where they belong. Concentrate on whatever you're doing. Keep things straight to complete a big task. How won't you set your mind on the problem at hand? To do things right now, you must understand. Yeah, well, that's great, but how can you use this as a symbol? I think you ought to just maybe send it back. Okay? Maybe I could drill a hole in the middle of it. Maybe your sister can cook something in it. It ain't made out of cast iron. Oh. <laughs> Yay! Darcy, is that really you? Wow. Yeah, my mom didn't get a chance to do the laundry last night, so I had to wear this. I hate dressing up. Never... Oh, excuse me. Cell phone. Cell phone. Tell me about hey, it. maybe it's some business. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hello, music shop. Yeah, champ. What's new at the burger stand? 
Oh, all right, all right, all right, calm down, calm down. I'll be right there. You guys want to watch the store for a while? Sure. What did Champ do this time? Locked himself in the bathroom. Oh, since when does Champ have a phone in the bathroom? Ever since he locked himself in the last time. <laughs> That's smart quick. Hey, Doris, what's with the act? I don't know what you're talking about. Darcy, your father makes you dress that way, doesn't he? My father can't make me do anything. Gosh, what did I do? I didn't say anything uh -huh. wrong. What a lucky goal. <laughs> Lost again, huh? Yeah, this time only by 40 points. Adam, my man. Hey, check this out. I think we got our first gig. Really? Are yeah. you kidding me? That's great. Where? Well, it's not definite yet, but Principal Harris says she wants us to appear at the annual talent show. This year, she wants to try to get attendance Ooh. way up. Yeah, because last year, all they had was Melinda Armana singing opera. <laughs> when will you know for sure? Well, she wants us to audition for her tomorrow, so... Oh, that's incredible. Look, we got to get started. We got to start working. Okay. Well, is Darcy here? No, she called in. She's going to be late. But we can start on something without her. Yeah, yeah, let's go in and work on uh, uh, Rainy Day Blues, because we have to slow it down a bit. We don't want to blow them away. <laughs> hey, when is the show? It's two weeks from Sunday. Oh, Darcy's going to flip. Yeah, listen, when you get it, let me know, and I'll put out notices all over town and put some out here in the shop so you get a big crowd. That's all right, right. Come on, let's do it. All right. Here, work on this a little while. Oh, hi, champ. Oh, hi, Darcy. Want a French fried pickle? <laughs> Oh. It's for my dog, actually. Uh, my new dog there. You got a pet? Yeah, this is my dog, Rommel. Say hello to Darcy. Oh, hello, Rommel. He's a good watchdog, and I have to have him because I've been having robbers lately. Oh, so he is a good watchdog? Yeah, last night he watched television. He loves the Muppets. I'll tell you, though, he's a good companion because when I go jogging in the morning, I like to have him. Uh, you know, this boxer still keeps in shape. So how far do you jog? I... Uh, just from my bedroom to the kitchen table for breakfast. <laughs> they say man's best friend is a dog. You're right, Darcy. But let me put it this way. Although he doesn't speak a word of English, he always seems to let me know what's on his mind. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's the best friend that you could ever find. From the tip of his tail to his shiny black nose, he's a true blue companion, as everyone knows. If you want a real pal who'll be true to the end, take a tip from this champ, you can always depend on a woof woof. Wow, wow, a woo, 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 Cause a woof woof is this man's best friend. <laughs> Each morning as I jog to the breakfast table, they're just nibbling, nibbling at my feet. With a woof and a root and smiling. For just a little tiny scrap of meat. <laughs> From the tip of his tail to his shiny black nose He's a true blue companion as everyone knows If you want a real pal who'll be true to the end Take a tip from this champ you can always depend On a woof woof bow wow Was a woof woof is this man's best friend Everybody's a critic. <laughs> Look, Champ, can I get the key to the ladies' room? Oh, sure. I want to change for rehearsal. I don't want the guys to see me dressed like this. Oh, you look very nice, though. Here's the key. Thanks. I'll have them back to you in a little bit. Okay. Hmm. Okay, Rommel, here we go. Mm-hmm. You want the big one? Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. It's not all in one bite. <laughs> Wash away the writing on the wall. 
to hear what you had to say. Didn't want to know you were on your way, and I didn't, didn't want to see you go. And I can't shake those rainy day blues. My mistake. You gave me all of the clues. Each day when I wake, I still have the ache, and I can't shake those rainy day blues. No, no, no. Looking out my window, as the clouds hide the stars above, let the rain hide my tears. Hope that you can hear how much I really. You jumped in really nice. Hey, Darcy, we got some great news for you. We may have our first gig. Where? At the, uh, well, well, we're auditioning tomorrow for Principal Harris for the talent show in a couple of weeks at school. But I can't play in public. Why not? Adam, you know why. Oh, good. She seems thrilled. <laughs> well? Well, somebody gonna let me in on this? Yeah, uh, you're not gonna believe this. Her father doesn't know she's in a band. When he finds out, she is in a lot of trouble. I mean, this man is very strict. He makes her wear all of these ultra-conservative dresses to school. And she has to change before she goes to class and again before she goes home. Gosh. Yeah? What's that? Hmm. Well, I don't think she's gonna change tonight, boys. She oh, left boy. her dress. She's in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Darcy, is that you? Yes, sir, it's me. Why are you home so late? Because uh, Sally and I had to study for a big test tomorrow. Well, you'd better get a good night's rest. Yes, sir, I will. Good night. Good night. Oh, Mr. Murray, Darcy, what are you wearing? Where are your clothes? Well, I can explain. I was walking to Sally's house, and this car drove by and splashed my dress, so um, Sally's mom's washing it, and I borrowed these for the night. Well, I didn't think you dressed sloppy in public. Who is this Sally, and where would she wear an outfit like that? Oh, she's really nice, and she's smart, and she's a cheerleader. A cheerleader? What's wrong with cheerleaders? Cheerleaders get into trouble. Yeah, but but Sally's really smart, and, and she helps me with my homework and stuff. She's... Well, I'm sure you can make friends who are smart and are nice girls. Yes, sir. Good night. from the professionals. <laughs> hey, you know, Principal Harris says she'd be here at 11 o'clock. Where's Darcy? Um, 
Well, Darcy called me last night and said she'd be here. I'll tell you something. I think she, uh, she hopes we don't pass the audition. Well, I wish somebody could talk to her father. Adam, nobody can talk to that guy. That guy is set in his ways. Come on, it's getting late. Just chuck me a donut. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> it's like chocolate with walnuts. That's fine. <laughs> Really late. At Bye. least have some juice. I'll get some at school. What's in the bag? My, uh, Sally's clothes. Oh, have a good day, sweetheart. Please don't forget to have some juice at school. Yes, okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Hello? hello, Mr. Williams? Yes? Is Darcy there? This is Principal Harris. Oh, hello. Uh, Darcy just left. Is anything wrong? Oh, no, no, not at all. I just wanted to tell her that I couldn't be at the band's audition until 11.30. Oh. I tried calling the three boys, but they had already left their houses. Well, I'm sure they'll, they'll wait. The band? If they're good, I'll let them close the show. Sure beats that tap dancing act that closed last year's show. Uh, uh, Mr. Williams, are you still there? Uh, yes. Uh, now, just where did you say that audition was? Oh, they'll be at the music shop. Oh, that's it. I'll bet the boys are there. Well, now I've got to run, Mr. Williams. Thank you for calling. I, uh, should be seeing her soon. <laughs> Goodbye. Sounds great. Now all we need is an audience. And an audience you shall have. I take it you all know one another? Yes, and they're all fine students. Except uh, once in a while, Adam gets a little bit out of hand. <laughs> hey, I'm in my wonder years. Yeah, <laughs> everybody's wondering what you're doing. Hey, Principal Harris. Oh, please call me Principal Harris. I did. What? He did call you Principal Harris. Oh! Wait, let me get the cotton out of my ears. We don't need those. We promise we won't play loud. At least in here. But the night of the show, watch out. I think I will. Principal Harris, when will we know if we pass the audition? Well, as soon as you finish. Oh, so you're going to decide whether or not we play, huh? Well, of course. All decisions affecting that school are mine. After all, I'm the principal of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the principal of the thing. And whatever I say goes, from the minute that school bell rings, ding dong, until those school gates close, it's me that has to answer. Every how and everywhere and every why is the standard of teaching too low. Is the standard of teaching too low? Is the cost of education too high? Is the cost of education too high? Early fall until late spring, I'm a thing and swing and principle of. Get started. Excellent, Excellent suggestion. suggestion. <laughs> Great. Now what are we gonna do? We gotta set up and what song? Let's do Get Up On Your Feet. Well, get Up On Your Feet? Let's just do it. Come on. Okay. Why do you want to do that song? Forget yeah. it. Let's... It's one of my favorites. <clears throat> All right. Count it off, Mark. One, two, one, two, three, four. So, Sally's clothes, eh? Studying for exams, huh? And who knows how many other lies? Let's get home this very minute. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on here. Now, let's not get this thing out of hand now. I'm Gary Crosby. Oh, the nightclub singer. That's right, that's me, yeah. So you had something to do with all this? Mm -hmm. Yes, I let these kids use this room for rehearsal. You mean the noise I just heard requires rehearsal? I don't consider it noise at all. I consider it the current sound. Just like when we were kids and our parents didn't understand why we listened to what we did. Well, you can count my daughter out. Wait, now I know why she's been having so much trouble the last couple of weeks. Mr. Williams, you can't blame that on the band. I mean, Darcy's been playing with us for months now. 
You mean you've been lying to me for months? I never lied. I never said I wasn't playing with the band. Mr. Williams, these are four of the finest students in my school, and I think what they're doing is okay. What would you know? Do you have any children? No, but you don't have to be a chicken to recognize an egg. <laughs> Mr. Williams, with all due respect, sir, Darcy's been acting strangely the last couple of weeks because she's had to sneak around behind your back to do something she feels is productive. Now, Darcy doesn't want to deceive you, but you're making her. Are you suggesting I don't care about my own daughter? Sir, I'm suggesting that if you do, she's still going to have a hard time finding out. Now, music makes Darcy happy. And I'm sure she's just dying to share this happiness with you. Well, well, I suppose you have a point. Well, isn't your band going to play anything? I'm running late for the office. <laughs> Can we do You Are the One? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. perfect. Yeah. Why don't you just have a seat here, Mrs. Harris? One, two, three, four. I wrote this one. Sure, beat tap dancing. <laughs> oh, Darcy, you can pick up a couple of tickets for your mother and me. I wouldn't miss this for the world. 